So TNT pay. So what TNT is, is after you got your CDL, you have to do training as a team. So what you're doing is you're running freight and you're working on the truck, you're over the road, you're running. You're not home every night. So this is your over the road experience to get you used to the company and get you moving. Now the TNT pay is right now $900 a week. Now that is if you're available for dispatch. So don't get it confused with like, hey, um, even though I'm at home on my time off, I still get $900. That's not gonna happen. So it's $900 a week if you're available for dispatch. Now, with that being said, a lot of people get this twisted right here. No pun, no pun intended. But uh, they get it twisted. They think that the 900 a week, they're, they think that it's 900 a week period, bring home, like that's my money. Like I need to get 900 a week. And the reality is that you have to pay taxes on it. You're gonna to have to pay your state taxes. You're gonna to have to pay your federal taxes. Anything that you have coming out of your check, at that point, it's gonna come out of that 900. So you're gonna be left with, we'll say, like if I had a guess, depending on the taxes for your state and stuff, you're probably gonna be bringing home like 700, 800 of the 900. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not a bad amount of money, and for a lot of people, it is more than what you were making at your last job. 900 a week, you know, that's pretty good. If you if you think about it, how many people out there right now are making 900 a week? Now, a lot of people are getting upset that they're taking taxes and stuff out of it like that. Look, Prime's not gonna pay your taxes for you. That's your. That's you. Like, they're not going to be like, hey, let's go ahead and pay this guy's um, state tax and let's pay his federal tax out of this 900 That way he can get us straight up 900 a week. That's not going to happen. We're not going to do that. Like, we're not. Prime's not going to do that. I have nothing to do with it. You know, and if you, if you take, like, say you're not available for dispatch, like, two or three days of that week, you're gonna have to figure out 900 divided by seven, whatever that is, and that's how much you're gonna lose each day, pretty much. So if you're off a couple days that week, you're not gonna get the full 900, unfortunately. So make sure that you plan ahead. When you take some time off, make sure you kind of save up that 900 a week. Now, it does get better whenever you get your own truck because when you go get your own truck, you're gonna be making more than that $900 a week think about it the $900 a week is like kind of your guarantee like that's your guarantee a week that you're gonna get so you're good like so during the TNT phase you are receiving a paycheck while you're in training now a lot of people think that that $900 a week starts when you're in the PSD phase it does not during the PSD phase that means before you have a CDL you are not hired by Prime, so they're not gonna pay you as an employee. What Prime does that's pretty special for the PSD part before you got a CDL is they give you a $200 interest-free loan that whenever you get onto TNT or when you get hired, they start taking it out of your check $25 at a time until you pay off whatever you took from the loan. And you know, I strongly suggest people use 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 that 200 a week. Either take it out and save it for a rainy day, take it out and maybe use it for stuff that you need over the road, like necessities. You know, just that's your that's what Prime gives you to survive off of while you're on the PSD phase. You know, that's because you're you're not hired on yet, but when you go TNT. You got your CDL. The day you get your CDL, you are hired on and you start making that 900 a week. Now, if you're available for dispatch, meaning like you're waiting on a trainer, then they're still gonna give you the $900 a week guarantee. If you, our pay day, our pay week is pretty much Wednesday to Wednesday. I'm just like, there's a certain time period. It's, six, it's 1600 on Wednesday. So it's pretty much Wednesday to Wednesday is our pay period. So if you test out on Monday 
don't expect to get the full like $900 for that week because guess what you only got paid for maybe Monday Tuesday and Wednesday so you only got paid for three days and I don't know if they are going to consider Monday a full day because that's the day you tested and Tuesday I'm not sh Tuesday they should give you a full day and um Wednesday I'm not sure if they give you a full day or half a day because the pay period ends right there um, your your best bet is to get with your fleet manager if you have any questions or you think that you were shorted pay on your $900 so make sure that you if you feel like you did not get what you deserve it's always good to hit up a fleet manager or hit up somebody and say hey can you explain to me what's going on because not not every company is perfect and they not every company has all their ducks in line like I've I found discrepancies in my check before and I hit up my fleet manager I say hey what's going on with this like I'm missing pay here or hey it they even overpaid me before so you know I told them about it and they got it fixed and I I might have had to wait till next week to get the pay but they always my fleet managers always offered me uh, cash advance if I needed it he goes hey if you need the money I can cash advance it to you but if not it'll be on your next check and I'm all like that's cool man put it on my next check I was just checking to make sure that I'm still getting paid prime has been really fair about that I feel like I, I got overpaid big time one time like they overpaid me something like four thousand dollars one time and it was this is a miscommunication and a load I had I had a load and I got it from Jersey and I didn't have enough time to run the load and I told the fleet manager that the weekend fleet manager that I can't run this load so he said that's good run it to Springfield we'll get someone to pick it up from there and take it the rest of the way I said okay so he put in the computer that I ran it from there to spring from there to the shipper which was in California back to Springfield I don't know why he did not put it stopping in Springfield. He messed up and said, I went to California and brought it back. Well, something happened. I think I think the shipper took too long to load me, and I didn't have enough time to get it to Springfield. Ends up that I could only get it to the Pittston Yard. So I took it over to the Pittston Yard. That was on Sunday. Well, I, it was a different dispatcher. I said, hey, look, I'm not going to make this load to Springfield. I don't have enough time. I'm going to take a reset right here on the Pittston Yard. And the weekend guy said, yeah, man, that's completely fine. So he gets in the computer and he types it up that I went from Springfield back to Pittston. So like I'm, I'm running all over the place on, on a computer. So whenever I get my paycheck, it's like, it's like you did all these miles on this load. And I'm all like, man, I only drove that load like a hundred miles or, you know, 200 miles at the most. I was all like, this thing is wrong. So I called up my fleet manager and I said, hey, look, this is this is what happened, blah, 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 you know. And he goes, man, thank you for being so honest. You know, most people wouldn't have been honest about this. And I said, look, like, I, I'm i not the kind of person that is dishonest. I'm not the person that's going to take advantage of this. And he's all, like, he's all like, I'll get it fixed. And I said, man, I just got one question for you because, you know, I pay taxes on that. Like, because I made that money, I had to pay taxes on it because it says that I earned that money. I said, you're going to make it fair? And he was all like, don't worry about it. I got your back. He goes, I'll make sure that it comes out of the next two checks so it doesn't hurt you too much. So my next check came in and like it was it was shorted. Like they took out, I think, $1,000 or $1,500 out of the next check, which was fine because... You know, I still brought in a check that week. Plus, I had the money that I already made because I was like, I told my wife, I said, don't spend that money, put it up. And then the next week, they took out about another thousand something. And I hit my fleet manager up and I said, I said, hey, y'all didn't take out enough. Y'all didn't take out enough. And he calls me on the phone and he tells me, he's all like, look, you were honest about this plus the tax situation we don't want to take money away that you didn't even receive because it went to taxes he goes i got with my supervisor and i got it all taken care of so you're good don't worry about it and you know if you made a little bit of profit on it 100 bucks or 200 bucks or whatever he goes take it as a thank you for being honest 
he goes it pays to be honest and he goes i really appreciate you for doing that and like honesty man that goes a long way with me and back then he he was a great fleet manager he went he ended up going lease and he was a great fleet manager he was my first fleet manager and he was awesome you know he's an awesome guy whenever i switched fleet managers i was uh, i was like man i gotta get a new fleet manager this is my good one because like i was new and he helped me out in so many ways but and you know i'm off subject right now so remember that 900 buck that 900 dollars a week they take taxes and stuff out of it so it's not a hundred percent nine hundred dollars a week it's gonna be less than that so be ready for it because if you're expecting it you're not gonna be as upset whenever you see that it's not quite nine hundred dollars exactly so just a little heads up for you guys that are coming out here going TNT that nine hundred dollars a week is gonna be less than that gotta love your taxes I'm out like comment and subscribe